I think these days everybody knows uh, how big a role women play in nutrition, but I think we have a tendency to associate it mostly with cooking and with the traditional roles of women in, in households. And we tend to forget that women are also very important as agriculture producers. They do a lot of agriculture work, they are key in the production of food and they play an increasingly important role also in the post-production stage in various types of agriculture value chains. And I think there is a huge need to support them in that role in order to promote their livelihoods and to enable them to have better lives. And in, in turn, we also know that this inevitably leads to significant benefits uh, for, for members of uh, agriculture households, particularly children, because women are much, much more likely than men to invest in their uh, children, education, health and good nutrition. I think we tend to speak in education in a fairly narrow manner, in a sort of Western style, when we, what we really have in mind is people going to schools. That's fine, but I need, think we need to appreciate the fact that in many poor countries, particularly in rural areas, the quality of education is very problematic. So I think there is a huge need to really improve the quality of education and go beyond just children getting enrolled to children having a real chance to improve their intellectual skills and their knowledge. The second point that I would like to make is that uh, education needs to prepare people for the very competitive labor markets of the 21st century. So it's no longer just about uh, getting people, um, uh, enabling them to read and write, but also providing them with considerable amount of financial and legal literacy. Uh, food waste is a huge problem, it's a huge issue. FAO, my organization, estimates that one third of the globally available food gets uh, lost or wasted. And I think we have a tendency to think about it in terms of the food that is uh, getting rotten in our fridges or that is, uh, that is wasted in the supermarket uh, shelf, but actually a big part of food losses is caused by gender inequalities in the agriculture sector, namely by rural farmers, female farmers, uh, reduced or limited access to improved technologies, improved tools, to uh, infrastructure such as transportation and storage. But we also know that this can be fixed and when rural women are helped to be able to get their produce to the local markets on time, everybody benefits. They get more for their production because they can sell more and the local food security is improved because more food becomes available for local consumption. Uh, I think uh, Women for Expo is a very excited project. Uh, in my view it's uh, beautiful because it brings together uh, a variety of stakeholders and people with different professional uh, backgrounds and professional affiliations and I think uh, together we can do a lot uh, for the benefit of rural women and girls and rural societies more generally. Well, I'm a great believer in innovative policies because this is one way how to address gender inequality and how to make sure that uh, development is inclusive and doesn't forget about people who can be marginalized, like women, like youth, like the elderly.